Lesson 2, Integration Techniques, Change of Variable. Example 1, evaluate the integral between 3 and 0 of y times the square root of y plus 1 dy using the substitution u equals y plus 1. Now here I'll write out the integral again. So now I'll have that i is equal to the integral between 3 and 0 y times the square root of y plus 1 dy and u equals y plus 1. Now this time you can't use a special rule because you differentiate that you won't you'll just get y and you won't get the y. So now we'll have du is me to y. So because it's a definite we'll have to work evaluate the uh, the limits. This is a 3 here. 3. So when y equals 3, u will equal 4, and u will be equal to 1 when y equals 0. Now it's very important to get those limits organized at the beginning, so you don't forget. So now i is equal to the integral between 4 and 1. Now here y is equal to u minus 1. And u is, the square, is equal to y plus 1, so this repl is replaced by the square root of u, and that's the u. Now we'll change this to the u to the half for 1, u minus 1, u to the half du, and that's equal to, removing the brackets, u to the 3 over 2 minus u to the half du. Now we can integrate. Adding 1 to the power that becomes 5 on 2 over 5 on 2 minus u to the 3 on 2 over 3 on 2 between 4 and 1. And that becomes two fifths u the five on two minus two thirds u the three on two between four and one. Now popping these in we get two fifths times four to the five on two minus two thirds u to the sorry four to the 3 on 2 minus this becomes just 2 fifths because 1 raised to any power is just 1 minus 2 thirds and when you put that all through on your calculator you get 116 over 15 as your final result. Here's the second example evaluate the integral between 1 and 0 of x times 3x minus 1 to the fourth dx using the substitution u equals 3x minus 1. You may like to pause the video and have a go at this one yourself. Alright, now I'll just write up the integral again. So now we have the integral between i equals the integral between 1 and 0 of x times 3x minus 1 to the fourth dx u equals 3x minus 1 so du dx equals 3 so this time dx will be equal to one third of du now our limits so when x is equal to 1 u is equal to and when x is equal to naught, u is equal to minus 1. Now here this means that x is equal to u plus 1 on 3. So now we're ready to, to go. i equals between 2 and negative 1 times u plus 1 on 3. 
times u to the fourth times one third to u. Okay, now that will be two and negative one. Now this will, will take that ninth out the front, one ninth of u plus one times u to the fourth to u. And that's one ninth integral between two and minus one of u to the fifth plus u to the fourth du. So on integrating, we get one ninth of u to the sixth on six plus u to the fifth on five between 2 and negative 1. Now simply substitute these ones in and we get 2 to the 6 which is 64 on 6 plus 32 on 5 minus I put the negative 1 becomes a positive so it becomes 1 sixth and this becomes a negative minus 1 fifth and all that comes out on your calculator as 1.9